Welcome back to another Rose City Reptiles video. I'm Joey. This is Rose City Reptiles and in today's video you can tell by the title <clears throat> we are going to be unboxing some new animals. Okay so I haven't opened this box yet. It's sealed. I just went to the post office, picked it up, drove home, turned on the camera. Let's open it up together. Let's jump right into it. Okay I just opened up the top level because I didn't want my address to be out there. But I have not removed the styrofoam yet. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it. Wow. Would you just look at that? Amazing. So you guys now have an idea of what we're looking at here. What we have, take a good look at that. You may guess it, you may not. Most of you might be thinking a yellow foot. This is actually a Colombian red foot tortoise. They are amazing. Look at these guys just hiding down in here. Wow. All right, I'm going to get the camera and get a closer look at these. These guys are absolutely beautiful. Take a look at this tortoise. Hopefully the camera's focused on him or her. We're not sure yet. They're a little young. But yeah, these guys, I've been wanting to work <clears throat> with Redfoots. I love Redfoots. I have a couple. Um, they have the best personalities. Look, I mean, he's not hiding. They're just out and about. They, you know, they're good with the kids. They're really um, interactive pet. You know, like when I come outside, they'll come running. You know, ready for food. You know, they're they're just so social and really fun for the whole family. Um, so it's kind of like a, a family project here. But yeah, Colombian redfoot tortoises. What I like about them is one, you don't see them that often. Um, two, I just think. That yellow, that yellow and black is just beautiful. And that doesn't fade or change. You know, with red foots, they start off kind of red and then as they grow, their head kind of turns yellow and their legs turn orange and yellow. And But these guys, because of their locality, they don't change. They're born with yellow and it stays yellow all the way through adulthood forever. So that yellow you're looking at stays. So we picked up six of these guys so we've got six of them, but um, let's go outside. I'll show you how I'm going to set them up. I already got their enclosure all ready for them. So let's go put them in there and we can get a closer look at each one. And if you haven't picked up your new Rose City Reptiles TX shirt, now would be a good time to go do that. Just head over to www.rosecityreptilestx.com or you can go click the link in the description below this video. I'd like to give a shout out to Southern Reptiles. That's who I purchased these tortoises from. Uh, the guy that runs the business, he's a great guy. He's been in the hobby for a while and he has lots of quality tortoises. So if you guys are looking for a tortoise, check out southernreptiles.net. Okay, so we're now outside. Here is where they're gonna be set up at. Large space, it's probably, I didn't even measure it, you know. Um, 12 feet by 10 foot, 12 by 10, something like that. But you know, there's natural weeds and grasses growing. We planted this, um, a hibiscus bush that's not doing too well, but hopefully it does better. And then we've got several caves throughout, lots of hiding spots. So we've got a cave here, another one right here that has a tunnel that goes in. They're all kind of connected to each other. And then, Another hide here and then one in the back. So lots of places to hide and burrow down if they wish. Got a water dish out here in the front. And after we put them in here, I'm gonna put some food out here and see if they are ready to eat. But let's go through, let's get one at a time. This one is so pretty. Look at that, look how much yellow is on the head. Really beautiful tortoise great size for putting outside so that's one here's number two that one's really pretty too that's number three these guys are kind of dirty but they'll get cleaned off just by walking around and soaking if they'd wish here's number four we've got two more Number five, 
Really beautiful. Should be one more in here. Little guy is in there hiding. Number six. Amazing, amazing. Really happy to have these guys. Look at them. They're just going to go and explore their new home. All right, let's go get some food and see if they're interested in eating. I bet they will be. All right, so I'm in the fridge. I've got some spring mix with carrots and squash already mixed in there. So I'm going to get that. And then for some fruit, I've got a papaya that we're gonna cut up and give them a little bit of that as well. So I'm gonna cut this up and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I might as well feed some of the other tortoises as well. So I'm just gonna fill this bowl up and we'll go out and start feeding. So let's get some of that in there. These seeds are gonna start falling out. Everyone loves this stuff. Paya is definitely a favorite. Then we'll just take some of these greens. This is spring mix with carrots and squash already cut up and is in there. So we'll get a couple handfuls of that. Okay, that should do it. I'm gonna put this in here to keep it fresh. Probably give that to the tegus later. Now let's take this, bring it outside, and see if they're ready to eat. Check these guys out. I just got outside with the food and they're already just destroying these weeds. This is why I love redfoots. You ship them across the country, they show up, you pull them out of a box, and they just go to town. Like, they're not scared of anything. I love them so much. So I'm just going to throw some of this down, put some of this papaya down, Give them a couple pieces of that, and um, that should be good. Let's go over here and give some of this to the mountain tortoises. So we got Chinese box turtles in here, and this pin is the Burmese mountain tortoises. So let's put some of this down. We'll just spread it about. Put a couple. pieces there we'll give them the rest now I bet it won't be long and they will come crawling out of this tunnel ready to eat let's see I can hear them coming look at this here he comes There are four of them in here. He probably sees me and is like, wait, what's going on? What does he eat first? Greens, papaya, or carrot? I love these tortoises. Oh, there's another one coming out behind him. It's crazy how tortoises can just, they have such a great sense of smell. You drop the food down, people don't think about it. Oh, papaya first. But yeah, people don't think about it, but tortoises can smell really well. Every time I put food out here, they, they all come out immediately. Very cool. All right, we'll check back in on them in just a second. Let's go over here. There's one red foot that made its way all the way to this corner, but all the other ones are over here eating. So let's have him join in the fun. Come on, little guy. These guys are about two years old, one and a half to two years. Look at that. See, I told you all the papaya. 
That's a big one. They love the papaya. I give that a lot here, even to the tegus and the iguanas, everyone. Everyone gets papaya. They all enjoy it. Look, I love how they use their hands to eat. They are doing so well. Look at that, fresh out of the box, friendly as can be. Let's see, you want to, will you let me pet your head? Look at that. Amazing. I seriously love redfoots, you guys. Tortoises are underrated, especially in like the lizard community. They're so underrated. These pets, these are incredible pets to have. They're so personable, active, easy to handle, great with kids. They're awesome pets, and I cannot wait till these guys are old enough to breed so I can bring some of these Colombian Redfoots to the market and to you guys. And they're not that expensive either. They're a good price. Most people can afford one. I love them, and I'm really happy to, that I made the choice to, to pick these guys up. There's number five right there. They're number six. Wait, we're missing one. Where is he? One, two, three, four, five. There's one more out here somewhere. Where did he go? Look at that, he's already in his cave. He's in here. We're just gonna leave him be. It looks like he's relaxing. There they are, doing great, enjoying their lunch. Let's go check on the Burmese mountain tortoises and then we are gonna get out of here. There's still just these two guys that are out. They've grown so much. Let me see if I can show you. They're not quite as confident, but still, he's got some food in his mouth. They've got these really long nails that help them with climbing. I find these guys on top of all of this stuff that they have every single day. But he's, they're getting big. They've grown a lot since I've had them. Perfect shell growth on this guy. Really nice. But yeah, like I said, there's four of them in here. The other two will come out. Here's their enclosure. Same size as the Redfoots. Let me get this bull back. But yeah, there they are. Cool little tortoise update. I'm going to give some papaya to the... Chinese box turtles as well. They enjoy it. All right, let's say goodbye to these new Redfoots here at Rose City Reptiles. Thank you guys so much for watching another Rose City Reptiles video. Um, also, check out the shirt. They're now on the website, www.rosecityreptilestx.com if you guys want to support the channel. Also, subscribe if you're new. We're all about keeping reptiles properly breeding them when they want to breed and um, just education and very family friendly channel so if you want to subscribe go ahead and subscribe and you know let's watch these new redfoots grow up together also i need some names um i don't know if i'll name all of them i'm debating between naming like each one individually or having like a group name you know i don't know so if you have some ideas leave in the comments below um and I'll see you guys in the next Rose City Reptiles video. Bye.